Hey guys, this is the Hoysala Isra Temple and here we can see a very strange carving, an ancient Egyptian. You can see that the clothes he is wearing and the tools he is holding are completely different from all other carvings in this temple. In fact, many historians agree that this is an Egyptian figure but have no idea how it has been carved in India which is in a totally different continent. Mainstream archaeologists say this temple was built about 900 years ago, although locals say it has been in place for many thousand years. If we compare this carving with carvings of other Indian humans and gods in this temple, it has many distinct features. All Indian figures are shown with no clothes on the upper body, but wearing plenty of ornaments. This figure is the complete opposite. It is shown wearing a long coat, but almost no ornaments. Most Indian figures are shown wearing footwear, but this figure is barefoot, just like the ancient Egyptians shown in paintings and carvings. Now, if you look at this Egyptian figure, you can see that beneath the long coat, he's wearing a loincloth. And this is exactly what this carving also shows. A simple loincloth underneath the long coat. Now, if we take a closer look at this figure, we can see that he's wearing a headdress that reaches the shoulders. We know that this is a headdress because we can see his real hair underneath the headdress and this headdress also looks remarkably similar to the ancient Egyptians while all Indian figures in the same temple show completely different hairdos. All history books tell us that ancient India was not connected to ancient Egypt yet we see this Egyptian in the temple. How is that possible? Remember, experts are telling us that ancient India was isolated. It was not connected to other countries. Yet, in another video, I have already shown you a European carved in the ancient Burhadiswara temple. All historians repeatedly tell us that India was not connected to Africa. Yet, I've shown you the carving of a giraffe in Konark Sun Temple and giraffes are only found in southern Africa. With all these evidences, is it possible that ancient civilizations around the world were connected, just like how we are all connected today? Were they using advanced technology like communication devices and telescopes? How else can we explain this Egyptian? along with the other carvings found in ancient temples. But the most important question is, why did Egyptians come to India? What was the purpose of their visit? So I began scanning this temple to see if there were any more carvings of this Egyptian carved among the thousands of other sculptures. There are two smaller carvings which show the same person. Here he is shown watching Indian musicians and dancers, suggesting that he was a visitor from a royal family and therefore was being entertained. But there is another sculpture which shows something remarkable. On the left, there is an Indian man who has a child on his lap. What is strange is that he is using a dumbbell-like device on this child and the Egyptian who is standing nearby is observing this procedure. You can see that the dumbbell-like device is placed on the left side of the child's chest, exactly on the top of the heart. In modern medical technology, in the last few years, we have developed something called a cardio pump to give CPR when someone has a cardiac arrest. This cardio pump must be placed on top of the heart and it will revive the patient. Are we looking at the exact same technology 
carved in ancient times. I mean, look at the similarity of the devices. They're both dumbbell shaped and they are placed exactly on top of the heart. Ancient Indian texts mention that other civilizations came to India to learn advanced technologies, specifically the field of medicine. Massive universities like Nalanda existed in ancient times and the ruins of these structures still exist today to confirm this. A text called Sushruta Samhita, written at least 2700 years ago, talks about advanced surgical operations and mentions a vast variety of surgical instruments. Carvings of identical surgical instruments are found in ancient Egypt. Carvings in Egypt clearly show this and archaeologists have even found remains of these metal surgical tools proving that surgery was done in ancient Egypt, just like India. So what do you think? Was India and Egypt connected in ancient times? Did we have a sophisticated civilization with advanced technology thousands of years ago? Was the world connected back then just like today? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section. I'm Praveen Mohan. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up and if possible, share it with your friends. And I will talk to you soon. Bye.